Hello there, and welcome back to Terraria. Last episode, we made two lovely houses instead of that abomination we had in the first place, and I've kind of updated it a little bit off-screen as well. We've got this kind of little mini gazebo thing with uh, just a few of our main crafting bits in it. Everything else is sorted into boxes, and I've also made this little underground compartment so we can kind of, you know, during like a goblin army or whatever, we can kind of come down here and just let them dissolve in the lava and uh, collect the loot at the same time, which I think is kind of, kind of useful. Um, what else did I do? I put a little trapdoor on here as well, which is hopefully going to prevent things from dropping down that hole too early as well, because that was happening during the last Goblin Invasion and Blood Moon. Um, so yeah, in this episode, we need to go and find ourselves a bone one, so it's going to require us going to the dungeon and killing a shed load of slimes. Uh, slimes? Skeletons. Slimes. I wish it was that easy. Uh, it's not too hard anyway. Um, but the other thing we need to do is we need to go and actually fight the Queen Bee, because we haven't done that yet. And that is uh, something I'd like to actually do before we enter hard mode. Because the jungle gets a lot harder in hard mode. Um, plus, also, I don't think we're quite ready to fight the Wall of Flesh yet, because we need to go and carve out some of hell to actually make that uh, palatable, I suppose. Um, right, so we're going to head to the dungeon. I need to get the cloth here somewhere else. Because we need a pile on here, and for the pylon to be here, we kind of need the mechanic to be here. And we also need the goblin to be here. So I'm going to head over to there anyway and see if I can kind of adjust their houses. Oh yeah, I got a top hat in the last episode. It makes me look snazzy, don't you think? Um, right, anyway, let's continue. I'm going to head over to the tundra now and then we'll go and see what's going on. I feel so much better now I can move quickly. That has been an issue for since episode one and we're finally actually uh, moving at a reasonable pace. Right. right so I'm going to take my sword of explosions and we're going to go and sort this out. It looks like the corruption is spreading very slowly, but surely. Because it wasn't this far in before, I'm pretty sure. The corruption. I keep calling it corruption. It's crimson. There is a difference. The worm is cooler than the brain. Hello, you oddly shaped house. I might have to redesign this at some point. Because it looks a bit dodgy, I'm not going to lie. Um, Right, are you... What's your happiness like? Obviously not homely enough. I don't want the golfer to be here. I want the golfer to be somewhere else. I kind of need... Um, these have... No, these don't even have a conduit yet, but that can probably be bought now. So going to the desert and getting a conduit there is probably an idea. We might do that before we do anything else. I need to get the mechanic moved in here, but she keeps dying the second she spawns in, so I don't think I've got her as a valid NPC. So I'm going to make somewhere for the... This dude. This dude needs to go and live somewhere. And this guy needs to go and live somewhere. I think he could probably live underground with the demolitionist. I think that might be an idea. Um, so that would get rid of these two. And then we just need this guy somewhere. I usually put him on the beach, but... The um, hairstylist and the fisherman seem to get along perfectly fine. So if I don't have to move them, i probably prefer to do that. Uh, I'm just going to continue to the dungeon, and then we're going to get a bone wand, and then I'll go and sort the desert one out first. Right, okay. So here we are. And right, we just need to go and get a ridiculous spawn of skeletons. That would be very handy. Because it can drop from, like, a variety of skeletons. I think it's any of the skeletons, in fact, can drop them. But now we've got a new, uh, new weapon to take them on with, so... Hopefully... They should provide no challenge. I also forgot how many boxes I left here. I might actually just take these and just get rid of them. Because then if we do come in later on, I'm not going to get myself confused. I'm going to take this into a more open area. And maybe I might start busting some space out of here. Because if I can do that, I can potentially make a little... A little area that can potentially spawn guys in. I uh, should probably summon my flinks. That might actually just help me out a little bit against these mages. Because they're a nightmare. I mean, I would appreciate it if you give me a bone one the first couple of seconds. That would be great. But it would be good if we actually can get this into a little spawning area. I don't know if this is the widest part of the dungeon. It seems like it might be. This would be a good place for it, to be honest. And then if I could fill that with some water. 
Hmm. I don't know. I don't quite know. This is very open. I think this might be the area for it, to be honest. Ah, dearie me, it's going to take forever. It's fine. Right, okay. This ball is going to be a problem. Consistent problem. Listen. I just want to get this little nub. Just let me get the nub. Haha, <laughs> got it. You can't stop me. Maybe he can stop me, he's gonna hit me again here. Right, I'm gonna carve some of this away, because it's, it's probably ideal to have a bit more of a flat surface here. And then if I could do it to the same level on the other side, and then I can kind of just build over this bottom bit. I might want to carve the spikes away though, and replace it with like wood maybe, because I don't think they can spawn on wood. Listen, I'm gonna die. I'm dead! Ugh. I knew that ball would be a problem. Right. Now I have to get all the way back there and pick up my one gold and 28 silver. Oh god, it's Blood Moon, I forgot. I'm just gonna pretend that it isn't and I'm just gonna run there anyway. I should be armoured enough to, uh, take care of any issues. Um, right. And I'm gonna sell this dude the other two tally counters. There we go, we've earned our money back already. Beautiful. Um, even though I'm gonna go and collect it, hopefully. That's a lot of bad guys outside. I can't help but explode them. And plus I've got a free bloody tear out of that, so if I do want a Blood Moon later down the line to get one of the fishing quests done, or the fishing, uh, uh, bosses that you can get, it might be worth, uh, doing that. Okay, you're dead. I'm not gonna get too carried away with that. Okay. I just want a bone wand. If I get a bone wand, I'll just leave this for now and go and, uh... But no, my luck, I'll have to finish this before I actually get a bone wand. Right, so we can't go any deeper than that because the ice starts there. I think. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. I'll replace that single piece there. Oh, we've got another Sally counter. But I want anything but, really. I don't know why I chose to make my entire castle out of bone. That seems like an insane decision, but you know, it's, it's gonna happen. Because you know, when I put my mind to something, I kind of have to do it. Otherwise, uh, my brain implodes. We don't want that to happen. And if you do, you're just bloody mean, I tell you right now. I don't know if I'm doing this the most optimal way, but you know. It's gonna have some higher spawn rates regardless. I like that. Is that an ornament? That's pretty cool. He can come with me to my castle and I can have a bone skeleton hanging from the wall. Because I don't know if height matters, but I know uh, the width of it probably does a bit more. You need surface area for them to spawn on. And then I can make a little lava castle in the middle. And then we can uh, have a safe little just chill and get all the loot kind of situation. Yes, get destroyed. Listen, you little cabbage. It dead. I've usually found about five bone ones by now, so it's quite a concern that I'm not actually finding one. I'm gonna drop down for a split second. I'm gonna kill this first. Then I'm gonna drop down for a split second. And just destroy these in hopes that one of these many skeletons dropped a bone wand. They don't seem to have. <laughs> It's a good way to grind out keys, this, I suppose, but, like, I don't need that many keys, I don't think. The tally counters seem to drop a lot more frequently than I thought they did. Right, let's try and get rid of some of these spikes just to make this a bit easier for me. Why is there a dark... I'm gonna die again here. I died. Face first into a spike once more. Ah, getting rid of these is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. I wonder if I can blow them up. Do you reckon that'll work? It might be worth a try. I'm going to try and blow these spikes up with some sticky dynamite. Does it work? I hope it works. It seems to. That's that's pretty cool. That's going to make life a little bit easier.
I'm providing the all come raining down on my face. <laughs> Oh dearie me. Um, I could probably mine some of this up now, actually. Probably be a bit easier than trying to find my dynamite while skeletons are dropping on my head. Right, heal again. What the hell's that thing? Cream soda? I don't mind if I do. I can't actually remember what the food does. It Does it uh, increase your uh, life regen, I think? Right, cool. Right, so they don't pose a threat anymore. It's just the regular enemies. I don't know if it's better to fill this hole in, potentially. I mean, I could put wood down here. I think maybe that's the option that I'm going to go with. Listen, you, just give me a break for five seconds. I need to work here. So nothing should be able to spawn on there, surely. Um, though I don't know what I'm going to do about... Because it's quite central. <laughs> so I don't really know what I'm going to do about the... Uh... The lava pyramid. Unless there's another way I could do it, maybe. Just give me- Yes, we got a bone one, finally. Now I can actually just give this up for a second. Right, we can actually start using that to... Uh, start off our castle. Which I might just put a base down for now, in fact. We're not going to finish the whole thing in this episode, clearly, because it's going to take me ages. Um, but, we can make a start on it, even though it's dark. So we're gonna make a start on it, and then when I get to a suitable place where I feel relatively happy with the beginning, I need to go and get my bone welder as well, that would be a, a good start. But it's fine, we'll get started just with a frame for now. Because it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the regular house, because it's my house. I am the hero of the story. Right, here's where we're building, so I'm gonna just immediately destroy all the forest around here. Right, and then I'm going to kind of... Let's see, how should I do this? Um, I don't really want to encroach on the dungeon too much. There definitely isn't one on the other side, is there? That's kind of similar. I mean, there's one in the jungle. There's one there, actually. That could work. Should we go and check that out first? Before I uh, start and then change my mind. I don't like that it's night time. It's always night time. Alright, so that's right here, which is close to the fisherman as well, which could be pretty cool. It's not as big. But it doesn't need to be, because it can kind of just like be on different levels, kind of. Uh, right. Let me let me just mess around and see if I can get a loose idea of what I want to do. I'm hoping I don't get destroyed by zombies. Oh my god. Just, like, placing blocks over other blocks is such a nightmare when it's uneven terrain. I don't know how thick to do the walls, to be honest. I could even use dungeon doors unless you can make bone doors, but bone doors are probably pretty ugly. Right, okay. I'm gonna take this right to the end, what we've got going on here. I mean, I like that it's got a couple of sunflowers, but they are in my way right now. My evil-looking castle will be offended by bone, uh, by, by sunflowers. Right, we're gonna have it up to there. That's probably wider than it needs to be, maybe. I'm gonna have, to have I'm gonna have trouble like decorating every room. Right, it's quite wide. Right, uh, I'm gonna go up from here, and then we're gonna extend outwards later on. So we're gonna have it like double thick, I think, the walls. Um, I think what I might have as well is a, maybe a spiral staircase on each side, so I think it probably needs to be seven between. Go... Uh, is that there? That's six, so one back. And then if I build a quick little workbench just so we've got one here, and then I build a tiny bit of fence. Uh, this probably will change. And then we get a couple of bits of platform. So then we start with like 
one, one, two, one, two, three. And then it goes back down to two, then one. Oh, run out the platform. Um, and we need to get more fence upwards. I may, as well, I may as well place like the the bunch that I've got, and then we can potentially have that like two. Oh my god, demon eyes are just like a disgrace. <laughs> right. Oh my god, this is uh, mildly infuriating. You know when it starts auto placing stuff in a certain way. I probably got the wrong thing selected. That's why it's doing it. Whoops. I didn't want that back. You can keep that. It's for you. I mean, I could probably make bone platforms here, which probably will replace these, but this is just a template, so I can kind of know that I've got the right kind of width for the, uh, thing, if you know what I mean. Right, and then this is behind. So then it'd be like that, and then it'd be like... Is that right? Yeah, because it kind of goes behind there, then it comes out the front, and it goes behind. Oh my god. That doesn't seem right to me. I think that's it. Uh, I've gotten ahead of myself slightly, maybe. Yeah, it looks a bit more normal. Right, there we go. I'll leave it like that for now, because that's kind of the frame of where the stairs are going to be. Right, so then we need to kind of, uh... Use more bone. I'm going to have to go and grind out some bone off-screen, I think, because we haven't got a whole lot, and it takes a ton. I don't know how big we want the rooms. Um, but maybe that could be where the ceiling starts for one. And then we can kind of frame it off the rest of that. And then this is going to be like an entrance to the castle. But we need to get the wall matching the other one. Even if we can get the first floor done before we fight the Queen Bee, that'd be uh, lovely. Because we can kind of do a little bit to it every episode then. And then by the time we're actually uh, ready for hard mode, hopefully it'll be finished. We won't, It's not going to take us that long to actually be ready for hard mode, though. We just need to set up the um, hell so we can actually fight the wall of flesh. And then we need to maybe build preemptively a little underground grind spot that we can maybe change biome as and when we please. Um, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Kind of make it like that, maybe. And then this can be like... Not like that. Maybe like that? I don't know how big I want these side rooms. Right, there we go. So that's that's the kind of size of the room, but we kind of need to mirror it on the other side. And then count like a, a central like atrium kind of thing. Um, I would like to be able to build a herb garden in this thing, but I don't know how we're going to do that just yet. I might build the floors in between like three wide. I think it gives it a chance to actually look like it's got some kind of consistency to it. If you catch my drift, which you probably don't, because I don't even half the time. Right, okay. So this altogether is 31 blocks, 32 blocks out. Um, and then if we have the middle as another even, we could have the middle as like 36. If only there was like a, you could place a flag, that would be a really good feature, I think, is if you could just place a little tiny flag <laughs> to know where you've put your marker at. Because, uh, <clears throat> I mean, you could literally just do this, I suppose. So 36 would be right where I'm standing. Right. <clears throat> Right, so we want 36 between, so it's going to have to be one after that anyway, isn't it? Right, and then this can be doubled up. And we're going to have to widen this to the right a little bit, but that's not a problem. Right, so we kind of know where the wall's going. 
What did I say that was on that side? It was from the doorway, it's 30. From there, it's 32. And from here, we're currently nowhere near. Listen, you purple menace. So 32's just there on that little uh, nub. So if we go down from here, then at least we know we're in the right spot. And then I can kind of take care of the rest later. The reason I wanted to build on like a up a bit like this is because we can kind of make our own fishing pond below them, which is kind of cool, I think. Right, I'm going to fill this in with bone here. I am running low on bone. I've got, only got uh, 74 pieces remaining, so we're going to have to just use what we've got there. And then we'll go and uh, be in search of Queen B. Because, I think... Uh, it's going to take me a while to grind up some more bone, so... Alright, let's just check. The travelling merchant has arrived. It might be worth going to see him. We haven't seen him in a while. And he might be holding goodies. We've got a lot of uh, gold on us at the moment. I did say I was going to stop by the desert as well, so with any luck, that's where he'll be. Right, I've got 26 left. This is going to be part of the tower wall anyway. So it's going to have to go quite high. I think it'll look pretty cool when it's done, hopefully. Um... I think this is low by one. But if I can actually jump up properly, I will be reasonable. And we are out of bone. That is it for now. There. Uh, right, let's go and find the traveling merchant, shall we? And he is literally right next to us, which is a blessing. Usually he's like the furthest possible point, but you know decided to help me out for a change. Right, he's selling a kimono. <laughs> Which, uh, no, I don't really want, to be honest. Um, and a water gun. Right. Jungle. Jungle's not too far away. It's literally right there. And then we can go in search of a queen bee. Because we, we haven't fought the queen bee yet, and she's a boss I'd like to just take off the list. And then, if I ever want to come back here, I can just literally spawn to the beach, which is great, so I don't need a conduit in the castle. Even though a teleporter could be handy to the main central area. Because then we just need to mirror and then teleport. That could take a while. So we've got a hunter and a night owl. And they might both work. We will check it out and see. Alright, I haven't got full damage protection, so I just need to be careful still. What did I just say? What did I just say? What did I just say? Seriously. Right, let's try and get another one of those enemy potions, if I've got one. Oh, well, you know what? A night owl could be quite useful, he says. Not planning on dropping to his death, but surely will once more. I don't know how I've got another tally counter again. <laughs> that must be one I forgot to sell. Uh, right. Considering this highlights enemies, I haven't seen any enemies yet. What is this thing? An unconscious man. Okay, then. It's another villager by the looks of things. Right, it looks like it's a mildly open area down here. Or not. It could be like a little pocket that they've just spawned in randomly. <clears throat> Alright, a chest. More feral claws. Don't really need it. Might take the honey dispenser, though, because that's kind of interesting. Um, I've actually just chucked them away, so it's lucky I've already got a pair, really. Uh. And then I'm going to leave the rest. I don't really care. And I'm also going to avoid the platinum because I would like to actually probably collect that later on. Something else we haven't found is a pair of flippers as well. Normally that's like a given earlier on. I don't know if you've changed the spawns of stuff without me knowing about it. Maybe. So it's less likely you get certain things. Please. Looks like there's honey here, which bodes well, potentially. Now the travelling merchant has disappeared from whence he came. I'm going to have to switch. So I can maybe see what's going on. See, I thought the honey would be a good sign, but it doesn't seem to be anything. Okay. Well, easy come, easy go. Looks like there's a chest over here. Hopefully not a dead man's one. And hopefully not containing absolute trash, which is likely. 
Ah, an angry band of regeneration. We don't actually have that, which is uh, crazy. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to equip the Spelunker. Um, What else should I get rid of? I don't really want to get rid of the books because they're like... I think there's only a finite amount of them. I don't know how you'd actually get more if you didn't. I'm going to drown here. Oh my god, what are these these man eater things just everywhere. Um and I'm gonna leave the rest. The rest can just stay in there until I return one day. Listen, slime, you don't stand a chance against my flaming sword of destruction. Ah we may have found something. It looks different. I don't really want to just smash into it though, because <laughs> if I spawn it accidentally. It probably still will do a lot of damage to me. I mean, I don't want to use up all the honey here, so I'm going to block it off. This might be useful for... Because you can do a bit of fishing in honey. To get some of the fish. I don't think there's actually a bloody... Oh, there is, look. We have Queen Bee in here. It's not very open. Might be deadly. <laughs> but we can try it, can't we? I mean, we are in classic. Let's just... Let's just... Hope for the best. I hope this just doesn't beat the hell out of me, which he might well do, because I'm kind of stuck in honey. But I might be able to tank most of it, because I've got hell armor, so... Uh, you know what would be a good shout, though? Flink's power, activate! Right, come on, you. Come on, you. Right, we're kind of in a good spot there, because her ammunition gets destroyed by us, I'm pretty sure. We might have this in the bag. When you're getting honey, it's so slow. At least this will be on the map now, so I'll actually be able to fish here for a fishing quest eventually. There we go, and it's as easy as that, you know? And we did it. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by a little tiny wasp. Okay, so we got a queen bee mask. Which is kind of terrifying, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah. Because there's a few other things we've got here. Yeah, I want to keep the dungeon brick. I'm gonna get rid of that bookshelf, who cares. Right, so we didn't get anything super good. Because uh, you can get, like... There's like a honeycomb thing you can get, which you can combine with some other stuff. We did get that, though, the bee sword. I've never actually used that before. Oh, we got a hive wand as well, which I didn't notice. I'm going to chuck away them spikes, I don't think they- because they don't hurt enemies, what's the point in making them? It's more for like if you're playing with friends, in like a PvP kind of situation, I suppose. That might be handy there. But they can be destroyed dead easily, so I don't know why you would. But yeah, anyway, we're going to take this stuff back, and then we're going to uh, put some stuff away, I think. If I can remember what I'm doing. I could have chucked that gold brick away that whole time, but, you know. Hindsight. Right. So let's see what I can just chuck away straight away. That's very nice. That takes a lot of it. Um, a potion? Material, maybe? Honey, I'm not sure. Uh, grenade, bombs, weapons. Um, I don't know where to put grenades, because I haven't really... Well, I could put them here. I could make a bomb chest out of this, to be honest. Um... My weapons are all at the other side. Beeswax, I don't really know what's for. I'm going to put it in the building chest just because I could use the hive one with it, maybe. I'm not sure if that works that way, but I'm going to need these for next time. Got my little clothing thing down here, so I'm going to put that there. And um, I've got an extra shadow key that I don't need. And we're going to keep the stuff in the inventory there for next time, I think. But I'm going to call it quits here, because we've done quite a lot. We've started our house, we found a bone wand, and we've killed the queen bee in this episode, so I think I think that's a bit of a jam-packed one, so that's alright. Maybe, maybe not as exciting as, you know, the other ones, but, you know, we did it. So, yeah. I hope you liked this episode. If you have, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.